We want to go to ABC 10's Monica Coleman this morning. Monica is following the new developments after people were arrested after that wild situation in Antelope that we've been following this week. So let's go to Monica Coleman live to get the answers now. Monica, what do we know this morning? Bria, this morning we are learning that the victim was just 20 years old. It was a drug deal gone wrong. You can see the community is coming together to remember him. There is a candlelight visual that continues to grow, but also I want you to take a look at this car that played a vital piece in this crime investigation. Deputies say the victim had arranged via text message to meet up with this group of three people to purchase drugs near Firestone Park. The suspects tried to rob him and shot him. New surveillance video shows us the moment the driver smashed into that parked vehicle before rolling back into the intersection. Yvonne Guevara lives next door. She was one of the first to witness the chaotic scene. The driver was shot, his life quickly slipping away. I heard a loud crash and when I went out, I saw um, a woman uh, screaming and applying pressure onto um, the, the victim's body. I didn't see a wound, I didn't hear a gunshot, but when I saw him, um, he looked like he was bleeding out and it was, he was kind of in his final moments and he ended up passing. First responders arrived to the scene Monday night within minutes, but there was nothing they could do for the 20 year old man who died from his injuries. People in this quiet neighborhood still wrapping their heads around this chaotic crime scene. The suspects as young as 18, the oldest 23 and the victim just 20 years old. Young people losing their lives in both ways. Back to you. Yeah, Monica, really sad situation. First time seeing that video. It wasn't a very loud crash. A lot of neighbors had said they didn't hear anything. And now we're getting some more answers about that as well this morning. Monica, thank you.